What's up, Smarties? It's your girl, Aggie, AKA Nurse Ags, a dermatology nurse practitioner. And today we are talking about what it is that dermatology nurse practitioners do. There seems to be maybe a little bit of mystery or misunderstanding as to how to become one. So if you're interested in learning about what it is that we do and how to become one, then please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. So what is a dermatology nurse practitioner? Well, we are advanced practicing nurses, meaning we've graduated from a master's or doctorate level program and have passed our certification board and are licensed to practice in the state in which we live. So in other words, we're nurses that go on to become nurse practitioners and become certified. Now, to be a dermatology nurse practitioner, there is no formal training as of now that is required. However, there is a certification exam you can take, but the caveat is you have to have clinical hours, um, working experience in the area of dermatology before you can even sit for the exam. So to become a dermatology nurse practitioner, basically, you just need your master's or your doctorate in the science of nursing. With that being said, because there is no formal training in becoming a dermatology nurse practitioner, a lot of us have taken the initiative to either pursue additional education through the form of a post-master certificate, a residency, fellowship, um, getting involved and in learning at different conferences in order to gain more training and education in this area. So now that we understand, you know, what education goes behind being a dermatology nurse practitioner, let's talk about what it is that we do. So we evaluate, diagnose, and treat dermatological conditions um, from peds all the way to geriatrics and everything in between. So we do medical dermatology, so that's treating common things like acne, eczema, psoriasis, and even more complex conditions like bullous diseases um, and cancers. In addition to doing those things, we also can do cosmetics. So that means your Botox, fillers, all those fun things that I think people kind of think automatically when they hear a dermatology nurse practitioner. So we do both medical side and we can also do cosmetics. Going further, we even can do surgeries, which I love. Um, I'm not currently doing surgeries because I'm not fully trained, but depending on who you work for, you can be trained to do surgeries on patients. And what I mean by surgeries is excising cysts, um, excising skin cancers, um, and then doing suturing, deep sutures, top sutures, and all of that cool stuff. Now, when it comes to day-to-day, -to -day, what that looks like for me, I go into clinic. I will often review my pathology results. So one thing that we do very often is biopsies, skin biopsies, which is either shaving or punching out a portion of the skin to have sent to our dermatopathologist for interpretation. They are trained to see if what you sent them in is cancerous, non-cancerous, or what the process is behind it. So I will look at the pathology results, first thing coming into clinic to see if we have any new results. And from there, I will have my medical assistant and each practice is different in their flow. But at my practice, once we get the pathology results in, it's up to us to do our final interpretation and then we will have our medical assistant contact the patient to let them know their results if they are either benign or if they need to come back in for further treatment. But if they are a skin cancer, then I will contact them myself, especially if it is a melanoma. Other things that I will do first thing in the morning before seeing patients is to look at my task for the day. So that is either patient messages, uh, messages from my medical assistants, reviewing lab results that have come in from the lab. That is something else that I'll do. And then I get to start seeing patients for the day. So I go in, my medical assistant has already worked up my patient for me, figured out why they are here, what they need, 
And so I will go and do a more detailed history of present illness, which if you're if, if you're in FMP school, you know what I'm talking about. After I do my questioning of the patient, I will do a physical exam that's either going to be a head to toe exam or a focused exam, depending on what the patient is there for. And then we will talk about our options for treatment. If I think anything needs to be a biopsy for more information. And then we will talk about education. If I know right off the bat what the diagnosis is, just clinically, there's no biopsy required, no further testing required, then we will have a conversation about that diagnosis, what causes it, um, how it can be prevented, if it is preventable, or if it's more of a chronic condition, we will talk about what that means and about management and expectations. Expectations, expectations is a huge thing um, I think in dermatology is managing expectations so that me and the patient are on the same page. So from there, I will either order more labs if they're on a medication that requires lab monitoring. I will order the medication that I think is best and then send them on their way and most likely will do a follow up because it's super important that we understand and we are able to evaluate whether the treatment we have given our patients is actually working out for them. So I will, if it's more of an acute case, I'll bring them back in a week or two. Um, but if it is something that they've been on, like a medication they've been on for some time, then maybe a month or longer. So that is what I do from patient to patient. Some Fun bedside procedures that we get to do include the biopsies, like I mentioned. We get to do um, incision and drainage of cysts. So if you've ever seen um, pimple popper, Dr. Pimple Popper, stuff like that, like, you know, squeezing out that gooky stuff that you either hate or you love. Also, we get to do um, freezing of different lesions, whether they are benign or irritated benign lesions or even warts. A lot of warts come into my office. <laughs> so we'll treat those or we can use a cautery, an electrocautery to um, burn things off and scrape it off with a curette. So um, there's a lot of different things that you get to treat at the bedside as a nurse practitioner that are not necessarily surgical, but they're more of like minor procedures. Of all the skin conditions we see, the most common ones that I have been seeing are definitely warts, as I mentioned, acne, eczema, psoriasis, different kinds of hair loss, and then lots of full body exams. Well, there you have it. That is what dermatology nurse practitioners do, what we are, and I hope that gives you some clarity as to our world and what we see on a day-to-day -day basis and our educational background. Um, with that being said, if you are interested in becoming a dermatology nurse practitioner, I have a couple of videos that may be of your interest. I will link them down below, so be sure to check them out. And also stay tuned for future videos where I talk more about this wonderful specialty and this wonderful profession, the pros, the cons, and everything in between. Let me know what questions you have down below in the comments and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.